we're asked to determine the derivative of the given function and approximate the derivative function value f prime of two to four decimal places. The given function is f of x equals five times sine of x raised to the power of x. Because the base is a function of x and so is the exponent, we will determine this derivative using logarithmic differentiation. So the first step is to replace f of x with y, which I've already done here on the right. Next, we want to isolate sine x to the power of x by dividing both sides of the equation by five, which gives us y divided by five is equal to sine x to the power of x. The next step is to take the natural log of both sides of the equation. And now on the left side, we'll apply the quotient property of logarithms and write natural log of y divided by five as natural log y minus natural log five. And on the right side of the equation, we'll apply the power property of logarithms and write natural log of sine x to the power of x as x times natural log of sine x. The next step is to take the derivative of both sides of the equation with respect to x. When doing this, if the term contains y, we apply the chain rule and we'll have an extra factor of dy dx. So on the left side, the derivative of natural log y with respect to x is equal to one divided by y times dy dx. Again, we have to apply the chain rule because we're differentiating with respect to x and the term is a y term. And then we have minus the derivative of natural log five with respect to x, which is zero because natural log five is a constant. And now on the right side, to differentiate x times natural log sine x with respect to x, we need to apply the product rule where the first function is x and the second function is natural log sine x. And therefore the derivative is equal to f times g prime plus g times f prime, or the first function x times the derivative of the second function, which is the derivative of natural log sine x, which is one divided by sine x, times the derivative of sine x, which is cosine x. And then we have plus the second function, or g, which is natural log sine x, times the derivative of the first function, or f prime, the derivative of x with respect to x is just one. Let's go ahead and simplify the right side. We have one divided by y times dy dx is equal to, let's write this first product as x cosine x divided by sine x, and then we have plus natural log sine x. The next step is to solve the equation for dy dx by multiplying both sides of the equation by y. Notice now the left side simplifies to dy dx, which is equal to on the right side. To write the entire derivative function in terms of x, we replace y with five sine x to the power of x, which gives us five times sine x to the power of x times, let's also write cosine x divided by sine x as cotangent x, which gives us x times cotangent x plus natural log sine x. And of course dy dx is the same as f prime of x. So now that we have our derivative function, to find f prime of two, we substitute two for x. Let's do this on the next slide. f prime of two is equal to five times sine of two squared times the quantity two times cotangent two plus natural log sine two. And now we go to the calculator and get our decimal approximation. We do wanna make sure the calculator is in radian mode when evaluating these trig functions. To check the mode, press the mode key and make sure that radian is highlighted. And since the T84 does not have a cotangent key, we will enter a cotangent two as cosine two divided by sine two. So 
the four decimal places, we have approximately negative 4.1771. We can also check this derivative function value by using the numerical derivative function on the T84. To do this, press math, option 8 for numerical derivative, enter the variable x, enter the original function which is 5 times sine x raised to the power of x, right arrow, right arrow, enter 2 for x, and enter. And notice how we do get the same value to four decimal places. There's a slight difference from the value we calculated because of the algorithm that T84 uses to evaluate this numerical derivative. And then finally remember, this derivative function value gives us the slope of the tangent line to the curve at x equals 2, pictured here in orange. The slope of this orange tangent line is approximately negative 4.1771. I hope you found this helpful.